you know, there, I don't have that many things that are extravagant tastes, so mm -hmm. uh, didn't change too much. So nothing really changed. So you didn't say, oh, I'm gonna buy a Porsche. I did. Okay, I, that, all right, I did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you did. All right. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We post content every day, so if you'd like to show your support, smash the thumbs up button if you'd like to know more about Bill Gates, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Born on 28th of October 1955, American business magnate, investor, author, philanthropist and humanitarian William Henry Gates III, aka Bill Gates is best known as the principal founder of Microsoft Corporation. He and Paul Allen launched Microsoft in 1975 and it became the world's largest PC software company. Gates led the company as chief executive officer until stepping down in January 2000, remaining as a chairman and creating the position of chief software architect for himself, until stepping down from this position in May 2014 to become technology advisor and support the newly appointed CEO. He is the world's second richest person according to Forbes, and in today's video we're gonna take a look at the true scale of Bill Gates' wealth. Although he didn't exactly come from a poor family, as his father was a prominent lawyer and his mother served on the board of directors for First Interstate Bank System as well as the United Way, Bill Gates still traded up, being worth an estimated $96.5 billion today. It is hard to imagine what one could possibly do with that insane amount of money, but Gates seems to know how to make the most of it. While he has spent some of his money on himself and his family, the houses, the private plane and the car collection he owns make up only a fraction of his massive fortune. Gates and his wife Melinda once said that it was unfair they're so rich, which is why they donate a lot of their money to charity. During his appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Gates revealed that despite his massive fortune, when he became a billionaire at the age of 31, history's youngest billionaire at the time, he did not go on a big spending spree. The only time he ever felt he went on a big splurge was when he bought his own private jet, a Bombardier BD-700 Global Express, which cost around $40 to $45 million and can seat up to 19 people. This plane can travel at a cruising altitude of 51,000 feet for a distance of 6,500 nautical miles, which is a non-stop flight from Tokyo to New York or from Los Angeles to Moscow, for example. Not long after making his first billion, Bill Gates invested $2 million in a property in 1988. It took him 7 years and $63 million to build the estate known as Xanadu 2.0 in Medina, Washington. At 66,000 square feet, his home is worth about $125 million today and in 2017, he paid over a million dollars in property taxes on it, according to public filings. The estate features a home theater for 20 guests, 6 kitchens and 24 bathrooms, as well as a trampoline room, which Gates told Ellen his 3 kids love. There is also roughly $80,000 worth of computer screens around the house, and since Gates is an avid reader, having indulged in quite the book collection, he also has a 2100 square foot library with secret bookcases, which is home to a 16th century Leonardo da Vinci manuscript that Gates bought at an auction for $30 million in 1994. Of course, a luxurious estate has to have a pool, and Bill Gates' pool is 60 feet long and has its own separate 3900 square foot building. According to some sources, the Microsoft co-founder also paid to have sand imported from the Caribbean to the shore surrounding his house, meaning he basically has his own private Caribbean beach. And since Gates is quite the car collector, his house also has various garages for a total of up to 23 cars. Guests who come to visit the Gates arrive through a private tunnel, which was built for around $2 million by Gates' company Watermark Estate Management in 2006 under Highway 106 to give easy access to the house. As we mentioned, Gates is a luxury car enthusiast who calls the cars his guilty pleasure and we could make more than one video just talking about his huge collection. The first car he bought after founding Microsoft was a Porsche 911 supercar, which he later sold, and it was eventually auctioned off for $80,000. But that wasn't his last Porsche. He is also the proud owner of a 1991 Porsche 911 Carrera, a Porsche 930, and the rarest of all, 1988 Porsche 959 Coupe, which he uses as his daily commute. 
In addition to these German luxury cars, he also has several Lamborghinis, old as well as new ones, a few Rolls Royce models, a Jaguar XJ6, as well as a Ferrari 348, and several Mercedes models, including an expensive Mercedes Maybach. Those are just a few of the cars Bill Gates owns, but he has many more and has driven many classic cars over the years. From Ford Focus to some of the most expensive and rare cars, you can find pretty much anything in his car collection, though he doesn't really like to brag about them. Being the co-founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates obviously has some pretty cool technology in his home. For example, he has devices worth around $150,000 which can display different paintings or photographs on the screens at a single touch. And because that is not enough decoration for his huge estate, there are also real paintings on the walls as well, including an original Winslow Homer painting that Gates purchased for $36 million in 1988. Bill Gates spends a part of his fortune to travel around the world, and over the years he has been to many different places, including Belize, Brazil, Croatia, and Australia for example. But even though this billionaire doesn't own his own yacht like so many others, he has treated his family to vacations on board of yachts on several occasions. For example, he took them on a Mediterranean vacation on board the 439-foot Super Yacht Serene, which includes a helicopter and can be chartered for a whopping $5 million a week. As you know, one property is never enough for the rich and famous, so Bill Gates obviously owns more real estate outside of his Washington pad. In California, he owns the 228-acre Rancho Paciana, which he purchased for $18 million. It includes a racetrack, an orchard, and five barns. Gates also reportedly purchased a 492-acre Wyoming ranch, which listed for $8.9 million back in 2009. And for a cool $27 million, Gates reportedly bought a whole string of properties in the same area in Wellington, Florida, including a 4.5-acre vacation ranch with a 12,864-square-foot mansion. The area is a hotspot for wealthy equestrians, and since his daughter Jennifer is an accomplished equestrian, it makes sense that Gates decided to buy the property to support her passion. In addition to the many properties Bill Gates owns, he has also made numerous investments in other real estate through his personal investment firm, Cascade, including partial ownership of Charles Hotel in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Gates reportedly also owns nearly half of the Four Seasons Holdings Hotel chain through Cascade, including hotels in Atlanta and Houston, sharing 95% ownership with Prince Al Walid bin Talal of Saudi Arabia. And in 2013, Gates and several unnamed buyers paid $161 million for the Ritz-Carlton in San Francisco, which was reportedly worth $200 million just a year later. Gates once told the British newspaper The Telegraph that he has no use for money, which is obviously an easy thing to say when you have that much. However, Bill Gates doesn't really enjoy shopping as much as many rich people do, and instead of going on shopping sprees and living a lavish lifestyle, he often donates to or invests his money in good causes. Gates previously invested in Amaris, for instance, a synthetic biology company that originally produced precursors to malaria drugs and hydrocarbon-based biofuel. Today, the company focuses on health through fragrances, skincare, and sweetener. In November 2017, Gates also invested $50 million into Alzheimer's research and continued these efforts by recently investing another $30 million with a group of investors into the Diagnostics Accelerator, a venture philanthropy fund to diagnose Alzheimer's disease earlier. The business magnate and his wife are famously giving most of their fortune away to charitable organizations and the like. In 2017 alone, Microsoft co-founder donated $4.78 billion, mostly to projects run by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The year before, they donated more than $2 billion to causes related to global health and development, and they have pledged about $2 billion to defeat malaria, donated more than $50 million to fight Ebola, and pledged $38 million to a Japanese pharmaceutical company working to create a low-cost polio vaccine. 
The Gates Foundation has also committed at least $2.5 billion to the Gavi Alliance, which works to improve access to vaccines in poor countries. Although he dropped out of Harvard back in his early 20s, Bill and his wife prioritized education, and their foundation established the Gates Millennium Scholars Program, which has received $1.6 billion. It also partnered with the Dan Goat Foundation in 2016 to spend $100 million in eliminating malnutrition in Nigeria. No wonder the couple were recently named the most generous philanthropist in the US by none other than the Chronicle of Philanthropy, having donated more than $36 billion to charitable causes, and Gates also agreed to give away most of his fortune through the Giving Pledge, which he launched back in 2010. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.